hello everyone welcome back to let's talk wild your girl tay here and i'm back with another celebrity animal interaction this time rapper currency he's from new orleans so he's very familiar with the animals there including alligators and recently he's been visiting some gators he's made friends with we'll watch and listen to what he has to say and afterwards i'll give you guys some information on the american gators but before we get into that make sure you guys like and share the video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel turn on your post notifications okay if you're new welcome if you are returning thank you now let's talk wild look at this nigga just gatoring it up Ooh, look at that look at that footage boy <laughs> come on man come on man i'm a nature i'm a nature show <laughs> look at this one come on boy come on man i'm a nature channel Look at my partner, Nolan. His name, Nolan. Once I'm letting Nolan. Oh, Nolan. Nolan, what you been out here eating, man? Nolan. Fuck you, Nolan. We got the most antisocial alligators of any park across the U.S. of A. And just laying there in the sun. Fuck you think you is? Liz Claiborne or somebody? Look at him. I ain't never seen him before. Unless that Sneaky P. Sneaky Pete on this side. Sneaks. Snakes. Right on cue. Right on cue. Darrell. The legend. Legend on the block like I'm Pee Wee Kirkland. Consistent hits. <laughs> Darrell. You ain't shit. And Daryl, you're on Facebook. Why are you telling people you're not on Facebook? People want to be your friend, man. I'm a huge currency fan. Jet life to the next life, period. Okay? <laughs> but besides being a great rapper and the jet life king, currency is a little comedian. Y'all heard him in the videos. You know, he always cracking jokes with the wildlife. He is, if it's not, you know, lizards, it's some type of bird or something. He's always cracking jokes and talking crap to uh, the wildlife. But it's all in love. It's all in love. Okay? But this time, you know, he was talking smack to the american alligator they are native to north america with louisiana and florida having the largest populations they got their names from spanish explorers who called them el largarto or big lizard when they first saw them they live in water and on land they are cold-blooded so they like to spend time relaxing in the sun you know warm that body up since they can't because they cold-blooded you know but when the weather gets colder okay their metabolism slows all the way down okay they won't catch food or you know they won't eat instead they will go dormant in holes underwater until the weather warms again mama gators choose nesting sites and you know then they'll lay up to 35 to 60 eggs and once they hatch she will stay with her babies for a couple of months or even years okay so it depends it just depends if she tired of being a mama child she said look y'all old enough she gonna dip on them she gonna leave but you know for the most part they stay for a couple of months you know it depends it depends on the mama you know now baby gators they eat insects and then upgrade to frogs crayfish and small fish the small hatchlings do have multiple predators that will eat them egrets uh herons and even large mouth bass okay once the babies grow to become adults their main predators are other alligators and of course you guys already know humans they can live up to 70 years sometimes longer in captivity the males grow bigger than the females and they can weigh over 500 pounds and the females over 200 pounds 
The American alligator was once threatened due to unregulated hunting, but the IUCN now ranks them as least concerned with their population numbers doing well after some research and conservation efforts. Some states have regulated alligator hunting like in Louisiana and their skin is tanned and used as exotic leather and their meat is used for human consumption. There are alligator farms that provide gators for these services and Louisiana has its own alligator alligator management program that has been doing well. Now I want to give you guys some safety tips when you're in areas that are inhabited by alligators. Check your surroundings, okay? And watch where you're stepping. Sometimes people mistake alligators for tree logs. Don't get too close to the water's edge. Keep children close to you and away from the water's edge, okay? Also, if you find a nest, leave the area. That means their mama is in the area, okay? Abort mission. Abort, abort, okay? Don't try to catch or handle babies. Don't handle any alligator if you you aren't a trained professional let me know if you guys have ever had an experience with alligators or any swamp or alligator farm tours you know let me know have you guys ever been to one of those let me know leave a comment i really want to know you guys thoughts on this make sure you follow me on all podcasting and social media platforms at let's talk wild get the video a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel all that good stuff now love yourself love one another most importantly Love your pets and the animals. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.